big models, big ones, and then the smaller ones. Both of these are left limbs, so these are going to be uh, left side for both of them, where the arm and the leg, one was one was a right limb, one was a, uh, sorry, for the two models for the arms, one was a uh, left arm, the other one was a right arm. These are going to be both left, makes it a little bit easier sometimes. So, the first two muscles you will only be able to see on this model here. You want to make a note, you're not going to see it on the small lower limb, you're, not, you're only going to see it on here. So there's a ligament. What did inguinal mean from our very first lab a long time ago? Inguinal meant the groin area, right? You don't have to know this is not one of the landmarks, but yet you want you want to help to use this to find something. This is called the inguinal ligament, right over here. This this ligament. If you go above the inguinal ligament, there's two muscles. One right here. Uh, she was talking. Judy was talking about the. Uh, iliac fossa before. This big area right here, this is the iliac fossa, that scoop that's in our ilium. That muscle sits in the iliac fossa. That is known as the iliacus. Right? So that one's nice and easy. It's in the ilium. It's called the iliacus. Then the second muscle that you're going to find runs up to the lumbar spine right here. This is actually the vertebrae cut. There's a disc right there. This runs up Take a look how it's spelled. It's spelled P-S-O-A-S, but you pronounce it so as. You don't pronounce the P. Right? You gotta spell it, but you don't pronounce it. So we just say so as, uh, so as major muscle. Now, both of these muscles, guys, they blend together. It's like they become one, they've like one tendon. So what I what I did was I showed you, here's the inguinal ligament. Now the tendon comes down. Remember the great uh, the lesser trochanter, that bump on the inside of the femur, like right about here. That tendon goes to the lesser trochanter. So since these two muscles blend together, they do the same thing. They do hip flexion. If you go like this, right, this would be flexion of your femur or flexion of your hip. However you want to put it would be fine with me. And hip joint, hip, uh, the femur. All right, so you say you were going on stairs, right, you're really doing some, or you're really, you know, sprints or something like that, you're really using these muscles to flex your hip. So both of those muscles um, are very powerful hip flexors, okay? I, I've even taken courses where uh, we considered it like one muscle, they just call it the iliopsoas, right? But here at NASO they divide it up. So we're gonna say iliacus and psoas major, both of them flex the hip, or flex the femur, however you wanna put it, they're both the same answer. Okay, everybody good? Awesome. Okay, now, this next thing, there is a band. This is a structure. This is on your list. It's called the iliotibial band. You can say, if you want to put down as an abbreviation, ITB, iliotibial band. Right? It's, it's like a belt, like a strap that goes along the outside of our thigh. But watch this. You don't have to know what it does. I'm not going to ask you this. It actually crosses the outside of the knee. So all of this here is the belt. What this does is it, pre it prevents our knee from buckling side to side. It actually helps to stabilize the knee. That's why we have it, right? That, that's why it's there. Um, so they call it the iliotibial band. The reason I want you to know it, use this as a reference point that this is always lateral. This is always going to be on the outside of the, the thighs. The reason I want you to know that, if you start taking the muscles apart, you start taking this model apart, it's actually hard to tell front from back, inside from outside. So what I always look for, even when I teach, I kind of take a quick glance, say, oh, here's the iliotibial band. This is the lateral aspect of the, of the lower limb. Okay. But like I said, functionally, it is an important structure because we would have a lot more knee injuries if we didn't have it. So here's the deal. Every time we take a step, or you kind of, or do, you know, do hip flexion or whatever, every time we walk, this belt, this ITB, has to be tightened so that it stabilizes the knee. So it actually has to be tensed. So watch this. There is a muscle. I'll show it to you up over here. Coming from the front, this is the gluteus maximus, so this would be the back over here. This is the front. There's a muscle coming from like our ASIS right here. This muscle is called the tensor fascia lata, all right? You can abbreviate this one also, TFL, right? The medicine and physical therapy, uh, occupational therapy, they'll say TFL, tensor fascia lata. So let's talk about what it does. Tensor means to tighten, and in Latin, the fascia lata 
is the iliotibial band. So it tightens the iliotibial band. Right? So every time you walk, this muscle contracts, it tightens this whole band over here, the iliotibial band. So that's its function, to tighten or to tense the ITB. It tenses the ITB, iliotibial band. Actually sounds like something you could order from Starbucks, right? A tensor fascia latte. Order it, I wonder what they get for it. I'm curious, let me know. Okay, so the ITB is tensed by the TFL, right? TFL goes into the ITB, the two things you can abbreviate that they're associated. And again, use that uh, iliotibial band as uh, uh, showing you the lateral aspect of the, um, of, the, of the lower limb. So let's take a look at, there's three gluteal muscles. We're gonna do two of them. We can only see two on our models here. So we're gonna do two. We're just gonna do the gluteus maximus, guys and the gluteus medius. I don't think I even put gluteus minimus on there. Um, is that on there or not? No. Yeah. Is it on there? Yes. 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 yes, last year. You can just take off the minimus. The only reason is you can't see it. Uh, uh, sometimes when I do the teach dissection, I use the same kind of list, so I have to have it on there, but we, we won't see it. So this one's easy. This big, flat uh, muscle that's on the posterior part of our pelvis is gonna be called the gluteus Maximus. Maximus just meaning that is big compared to the median, compared to the minimus. So this is the biggest of the three. But this is more of a uh, of a posterior muscle. So this guy right here, this is his left leg. If he's looking this way, right? So this would be the left tip over here. That's this big muscle over here. This does a lot of different things, but one of its main functions, guys, is to bring the femur back this way. So this would be extension of the hip extension of the femur, however you want to put it, they're both fine with me. Extension of the hip, extension of the femur. Even this, right now you're sitting, your, your hips are flexed, but when you go to stand up, your femurs have to be extended. It is your gluteus maximus that is lifting you out of the chair. Right? It's extending your hips to bring your body up. So it's a very powerful muscle. And so the glute max extends the hip. It's kind of bringing your hip back, you can feel it contract. Now, the gluteus medius and the minimus, if we were looking for it, they're not on the back. They're more on the side over here. They're gonna be on the lateral aspect of the, of the ilium. So since they're over here, they're gonna do this. They're gonna do abduction. Remember abduction is to move the body part away in the coronal plane or the frontal plane. So the gluteus medius, guys, is an abductor of the hip. Abduction, abduction, okay? So, when you look at this model over here, again, this guy's looking this way here. Here's your max. Here's the gluteus medius. You can see a little bit. If you want to see the whole gluteus medius, though, on both models, guys, you're going to be able to take the max off, and then you'll see the rest of the gluteus medius. When the maximus is on it, you're only seeing part of it. If you want to see the whole thing, it's going to be this over here. All of this is the gluteus maximus. Ah, uh, medius. Thank you. I was just testing. It. Very good. <laughs> Everybody good? So we took the max off, we got our gluteus medius. Questions or comments on those two? It's so easy. Okay. Now, so I took the gluteus maximus off. The next group of muscles, we'll go to the sciatic nerve in a second. The next group of muscles, I grouped them together for you. This is again my little my OCD here where I kind of compartmentalize things to make it a little bit easier for you. I call the lateral hip rotators, there's six of them, this, the deep six lateral hip rotators. The only way you can find them, guys, is if you take the gluteus maximus off. If we have max on, you can't see it. So just to review for a minute, what would be lateral rotation of the femur? Let's pretend this is my femur for a moment. If I took my femur, guys, and I turned it out, that's lateral rotation or external rotation, right? So they're all gonna turn the femur out. So if you took your femur, Again, it's hard to do while you're sitting, but if you just kind of rotate your femur out like that, lateral rotation. There's six muscles that do that. We're only gonna see five, but I do want you to leave the one that you're not gonna see, because I have a little acronym I wanna teach you that help, help, you, help you learn this. Um, don't write this down. This is the way I put down your muscles. I always, when I was a student, uh, I learned, please go, go quietly. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
What you're going to do is this, and I love to watch students taking a test. On the exam, you're going to take your finger, if you, I'm asking you this to say here, and you're going to go onto the sciatic nerve. We talked about that before. Take your finger, slide it all the way up until you think your finger hits a muscle. That's the first muscle in our acronym. What does the P stand for? You can look at your notes. Piriformis. That's going to be the piriformis muscle. Okay. Um, then go down one. What's that next muscle, guys? What's the G? Gemellus superior. Go down one. What's the, op, uh, uh, the O? Obturator internus. Go down one. Gemellus inferior. Now, obturator externus. On this dissection from this view, we can't see. So I, I put a little asterisk there just to kind of tell you it's not visualized, but I do want you to know it because it will help you to find the remaining muscles. So know that the obturator externus would be the next one in line. We would just have to do the, the cuts differently. And then what's the Q? Quadratus femoris, okay? It hasn't happened here in a while, but it actually happened uh, two weeks ago. I gave, the, I gave a practical in at Adelphi. And I guess two students weren't paying attention to that. Watch what they did. I had put the muscle, I had put the, um, I had put the uh, sticker here to identify the piriformis. I said, good, I just identified the muscle. This part of the gluteus medius kind of looks like that, right? They, they could be similar. So they thought this was the piriformis, this was the gemella superior, and they were off by one. So they got it wrong. There was two questions on that. Um, you gotta take your finger, slide it up, unless you're certain. Right, that is the piriformis. You gotta take your finger and just bring it up. Once you hit that muscle, now you know you have the piriformis muscle. Okay, otherwise you're gonna be off one way or the other. All right, so it's a silly thing. So let's go through one more time. What's the name of this nerve? I could ask this, this is on your checklist. Sciatic, Sciatic nerve, beautiful. So you're gonna slide your finger up. First muscle, guys, you tell me. Piriformis. Piriformis, go down one. Gemellus superior, go down one. Obturator internus, go down one. Gemellus, if you, anybody know what gemellus means, gemelli? The twins, gemelli means twins. So when the anatomists looked at it, they thought they were twins, so they called this the upper twin, and then the lower twin, just to kind of give you an idea. What's the muscle you're not gonna see? Obturator externus, right, the other O for go-go, right? And then the last muscle here, kind of quadrangular in shape, so this is the quadratus femoris. Quadratus femoris, all right? Please go, go quietly or quickly, however you want to remember it. Um, it always worked for me. When I took my practicals, we didn't have models like this. I would have killed to have beautiful models. We actually had the dissection, so everything was like, uh, you know, they had the cadaver. She has like cadaver pictures here. Sometimes the, you know, the cadaver muscles were dried up and it was hard to kind of see things. So if you didn't do it that way, you, were, you got it wrong. You were, you were screwed. So um, these models are a little bit easier to see, but it's a good, it's a good way to remember it. Please go, go quietly. Everybody good? What do all six muscles do? All do, they're in the group. Lateral rotation of the hip. Go, Mike. Said, please go, go. Please go, go quietly. That's how I always remember it. I kind of read it that way, you know, P-G-O-G-O-Q. Okay, so those are the muscles. Again, how do you, how do you see them? They're under the glute max. You would not see them if you didn't have the glute, if you had the glute max on. We have to take that glute maximus off. Make sense? Okay, I have them labeled for you too. I just didn't want to put it up there. I'll get them all labeled for you. Anybody questions on those? Can I have videos on these guys? I have PowerPoints up there. I have watched them a few times. Let's take a look at the groove that makes up most of the inside of our thigh, like this whole inner, inner part right here. Uh, if you went to the gym today and you sat down on the machine, right, there's these two pads, you can put your knees up against it and you squeeze your, squeeze your knees together like that, right? These, this is gonna strengthen that group of muscles right over here. So we call this the adductor group. Again, this is my OCD. I kinda put everything into, into, into categories. Um, the only muscle you're not gonna see is gluteus, not gluteus, um, adductor uh, brevis. Do I have that on there? Yeah. You can take that one off too. Again, so I use these lists uh, when I teach dissection too, so uh, that's why I have it on there. So you can cross that one off. Brevis, adductor brevis. So, again, you can do it any way you want. Let me show you like a fail-safe way that kind of works since I've been doing this. Um, recently, 
The first muscle you want to find is like a belt. It's the most superficial on this medial group. This is called the gracilis, right? gracilis. Once you have your finger on that, guys, move backwards. We're seeing a glimpse of this massive muscle. We're only seeing a part of it. It fills up most of the inside of our thigh. This is called the adductor magnus. What do you think magnus means? Big, right? It's big. Go back to the gracilis. Now go forward one muscle. This muscle right here, adductor longus. If there was a, a brevis that we were looking for, it would be underneath here. We can't take this one off. That's why I'm having to cross it off. All right, so let's go back before we do the last muscle. What's the most superficial? It looks like a belt to me. It's like a strap. This is your gracilis. Go back one, adductor magnus. Go back to the gracilis. Now go forward one, right? You're gonna go in front, right here. This is your one, guys. Adductor longus. At this point, take your finger up. Take your finger, bring it all the way up to the pubic bone. Here's the pubic bone, and then go anterior a little bit. There's a little oblique muscle. You're gonna see it next to the femoral vein. See that little blue vein right there? That, see, it's right next to that femoral vein. Even when I teach dissection, I always have my students look for that femoral vein and they'll see the pectineus muscle right next to it. It's always gonna be next to that vein. So that muscle right there is more anterior. Uh, this is called the pectineus muscle, okay, pectineus. Okay, so gracilis, go back one, adductor magnus. Go back to your gracilis, right? Kind of like your home plate, home base. Go forward one, adductor, Longest. Take your finger all the way up to the pubic bone. Go around to the front. A little oblique muscle right there, right next to the femoral vein. That blue, blue blood vessel right there is the femoral vein. That is your pectineus. Right? Pectineus muscle. So, two out of the four muscles have the word adductor. That's because this muscle group, all five muscles, even though we're just doing four, all do adduction of the thigh. What would be adduction of the thigh? Squeezing your thighs together, right? Bringing your thighs together. Adductor muscle, adductor group, however you want to put it. Right? They all do the same thing, adduction. Adduction. The only one that's weird is because it's in the more to the front is the pectineus, but it's part of that, it's part of the group where the fibers run. Okay. This is the group, you know, sometimes uh, when somebody does a split and they don't want to do a split, like say they slip on the ice and their leg goes out like this, or they're on the wet grass, right, playing soccer, or, or you know, something like that, and your, your leg goes out. This is the group, they'll actually, you know, kind of, uh, no, uh, they'll rip, you know, right from the pubic bone, the, the, the muscle fibers will tear. I've seen some pretty bad tears, but you know, somebody's thigh is all like black and blue, it's just all from leaning in there. And it's, it takes a while to rehab that. that uh, that's a tough, tough. Uh, they call it like a groin pull, I guess. Um, it uh, takes a little while to heal that up. Okay, so that's a nice, easy group. Again, find your gracilis first. Go back one, add up the magnus. Go back to gracilis. Go forward one, add up the longus. And then just go to the front. Right, you gotta go to the pubic bone. Swing around that pubic bone, and you'll find the um, the pectineus. Anybody questions or comments? So far, so good. So let me do this. Let's let me do the group uh, on the front of your thigh. You guys have probably heard of the quadriceps, quads, right? And then we'll do our hamstrings. And then I'll let you look at some of these muscles. And then we'll finish up the labs looking at the, the lower leg. So there is a muscle. Again, just to give you a little bit of reference point here. When you look at the, the lower limb, look for the what's the name of the kneecap? Well, going back to the bones. Patella, right? Go back to the patella, just so you know, that's the front right here. And then the right above the, the patella is going to be our quadricep group. However, guys, watch this. There is a muscle that kind of surrounds the quadriceps that we got to look at first. This is the longest muscle in the body. This is called the sartorius muscle. So this muscle right here, it's like a, it's like a strap, like a belt. It's, it starts way up here at our ASIS goes around the front of the thigh to the medial part of your tibia, right? So it kind of swings around this way. Longest muscle in the body. You know what you need this muscle for? We'll kind of go not technical with, uh, with the actions of this muscle because it does a lot of things. 
you need this muscle to do this, to cross your ankle over your knee like that. They actually used to call this muscle the tailor's muscle, because a tailor would sit, cross their leg, put the garment over their knee, and they would alter, do alterations, right? So the tailor needed that muscle. We're gonna call it the sartorius, however. So if you just wanna put down an action, just put down, it crosses the ankle over the knee. Just put that down. Instead of saying you know, flexion of the hip, abduction of the hip, lateral rotation of the hip, it does a lot of things. Just put that crosses ankle, crosses ankle over the knee. See it, Sartorius? It's right above the quadriceps root. It's not gonna dance. Cross his ankle over knee. Okay, what's quad mean anyway, guys? Four. Four. That means there's four muscles to the quadricep group. This is so easy. The most superficial muscle right here, running straight up and down, this is called your rectus femoris. Rectus meaning that it's running erect, upright like this, straight up and down. So this is your rectus femoris. This is going to be the most superficial muscle. Then the next three muscles all have the same name. They all are called vastus. There's one on the inside called vastus medius. What do you think the one on the outside is going to be called? I don't know if you remind. Vastus lateralis, right? Vastus medius, vastus lateralis. And then watch this. Right between my thumb and my forefinger is the vastus intermedius. But we can't see it unless we take off the rectus femoris, okay? So to see the vastus intermedius, watch this. I'm gonna go to the next slide. All I did was took off the rectus femoris right on the femur bone, right? Here's the muscle here. This is just some of its tendon. Right here is the vastus intermedius. So this would be the vastus medialis or medius, vastus lateralis, and then right in between vastus intermedius. But again, you can't see the vastus intermedius unless you take off Rectus femoris. Okay. Um, sometimes bodybuilders will call the vastus medius. This is the teardrop muscle. They sometimes will try to get like a, right here, this this chunk of meat like on the inside of your your, 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 your meat right here. This would be what they, what they call the teardrop muscle. Okay. When it's well well developed, it looks like a teardrop coming down like this. So this is the vastus medius. But good news, all four muscles do the same thing. It does. They do. Excuse me extension of the knee. So write that down and then we'll feel ours, right? Extension of the knee. Let's say you were kicking your soccer ball or something like that, right? That type of thing. So once you have it written, put, put one hand on your thigh like this, guys, and just extend the knee, like kind of force it, like contract it. Feel it, I feel all these muscles contract over here. If you go to the gym, right, you can sit down on that machine, you put your ankles behind this one little little bar, and what do you do? You just do extensions like that, right? You can feel your quads burning like that if you're doing a lot of weight. You can actually feel them. That's doing your quads, okay? So all four muscles do extension of the knee, okay? Even though they have different names. But it's easy to remember, rectus femoris, most superficial, and then the next three muscles all have the same name, vastus, and then they go by position. Vastus medius, you can say medialis. Vastus lateralis. And then underneath, the rectus femoris is your vastus intermedius. What did intermediate mean anyway from our very first day of school? Layup. Mm -hmm. In between, right? So it's actually in between, right? Your vastus medius and your vastus lateralis. Nice and easy.